friends so today upsc prelims exam is conducted and for paper 1 i would like to briefly explain all the 100 questions in paper 1 though there are key of uh, several institutes almost 9 to 10 questions different key was given by different institutes so while going through these 100 questions i will specifically spend more time on those 9 to 10 questions for which the key is different for different institutes and my idea here is whichever question i am going to explain i will not be explaining it in detail for example if this is about uh, climate action tracker i will not be explaining completely about what is climate action tracker and when it was created what was the purpose of it i will not be telling all these things just among the given options how to arrive at the right option how to eliminate the wrong option so in that way i'll be explaining only then i'll be able to finish all 100 questions in lesser time because this is not a current affairs class or gs class we are just going through all the 100 questions and how to answer those questions i will be answering these questions like a student if i am a student how would i arrive at right, right answer how would i think in the exam hall in that way i am going to explain these 100 questions so first question but see climate action tracker tracker it is database see this is not a committee this is not an agency this is not a wing this is not a group of people climate action tracker is a database that is created mainly because though many countries have pledged though, though many countries have pledged you know that they would be cutting the emission there should be some mechanism to monitor these pledges whether the direction of emissions is really followed or not that tracking is done by climate action tracker so database is the answer friends the next question is among the among these five statements which are correct friends you should be careful because some questions they'll ask you which are not correct okay so among these which are correct see basically international energy agency is not at all a party in this ep100 initiative it's not a party even international energy agency was formed long back in 1970s it's formed whereas under two correlation is formed only in the last decade so there is no relation between these two things so in the overall question if you observe carefully whatever they gave regarding the international energy agency is clearly wrong we have studied about this in the current affairs and also this is there in the news from last three to four years so two and five are wrong so the answer is the remaining options one three and four friends third question in third question see rainforests and tropical forests are called as lungs of the earth you know because they release a lot of oxygen these forests are very dense and there is a lot of oxygen similarly we call wetlands as kidneys generally kidneys means they have to purify the waste filter the waste so among the following four functions of the wetlands which function you can associate or closer to purification see for example water cycle water cycle means evaporation runoff nothing to do here there's nothing to do with filtration some water evaporates some water percolates some water runs away from the wetland so nothing to do with the purification similarly this is about the animals in the uh, wetland nothing to do with the purification whereas here see the uh, in the wetland water plants are there what they do is whatever water flows through the wetland these plants absorb the heavy metals they absorb the nutrients and then when the water leaves the wetland some of the waste is purified by the aquatic plants so the purification factor came here so d is the option like a kidney a kidney from this question in this question fourth question the key was different by different institutes let me explain this to you see according to the air quality this is air according to the air quality guidelines given by the world health organization which of the following are true the first one is factually true the pm 2.5 if you take a daily average and a yearly average the numbers they gave are correct and highest level of ozone pollution generally will be there on a sunny day on a hot and sunny day when there are no much clouds 
ozone pollution is more but they gave during the inclement weather actually inclement weather means bad weather I mean, that means uh, rainy very cool rainy such kind of weather inclement weather during this kind of weather ozone pollution is not formed so two is wrong two is wrong now this one actually this is the most confusing option what is pm10 pm10 means any particle between the size of 2.5 to 10 microns 2.5 microns to 10 microns any particles in this size is called pm10 what is pm2.5 pm2.5 means any particle which is 0 to 2.5 small less than 2.5 microns now we all know that when the particle is very small pm2.5 small particles when you breathe it they can actually go through the lungs into the bloodstream easily they can go into the bloodstream so if the question is pm2.5 can penetrate exactly correct but they gave pm10 pm10 means slightly larger particles but let me tell you in pm10 also you have 2.5 to 10 so 2.5 3.5 4 that size particles can actually go through the go through the lungs into the bloodstream but pm8 9 10 that size cannot go through so all pm10 may not be able to surpass the lungs and go into bloodstream but some particles can go through so pm10 can penetrate means yes some of the pm10 can penetrate not all of the pm10 for example 2.5 10 microns now 2.5 can penetrate 3 3.5 can penetrate but 8 9 10 cannot penetrate so according to me this correct answer pm10 is correct answer now excess ozone is, can, is, is right so basically friends among the options given according to me the option is 1 3 and 4 is the answer but if some people really think that pm10 is a very big particle it can never go through the bloodstream then you can go for 1 and 4 1 and 4 such people can go through but according to me pm10 does not mean only 10 it means 2.5 to 10 so some of them can go through the bloodstream next question fifth question as this is in the news as you know well it's easy to answer also it's a mushroom mushroom means a fungus fungus found in the himalayan area this is also correct but it's not commercially cultivated it's not that scale commercially cultivated scale is not there in the gucci third is wrong so one and two are correct friends again this is a this is slightly confusing question to most of the candidates because the options given by different academies are different here see pet pet is what we use in the water bottle generally the kinlay bisturi water bottles that you drink water from are made up of pet is a very common used material pet so see contain uh, the fibers can be blended with wool this is correct actually actually the pet fibers can be blended with the wool and cotton even other fibers also not only wool and cotton they can be blended other fibers also why do they, why do you blend it to increase the properties to increase the property such a way that you can use it widely so one is definitely correct now containers made of it can be used to store alcohol this option some people say yes some think no see basically if you pour alcohol in the pet bottle nothing happens to pet bottle you can actually use it you can actually use alcohol in the pet bottles but have you whenever for example you go out and purchase some beer or any wine or any alcohol try to purchase generally alcohol is never given in the pet bottles like water bottle in pet bottle alcohol is not given generally so according to me this is wrong according to me okay but if you really pour alcohol in the plastic bottles nothing will happen to it but they do not use it that's why i'm telling it's wrong and one i'm very sure is correct one because really it is done really pet fibers are blended with several type of fibers to strengthen them not only strengthen to increase the properties one is differently correct bottles made of it can be of course it can be recycled correct articles made of it see without causing greenhouse gas emissions generally incineration means you burn it using electricity whatever you burn it when you burn pet obviously some gases which are released causes greenhouse gas emissions definitely so uh, see this is definitely wrong this is different four is definitely wrong okay three is definitely correct now the question is between one and two as four is wrong you cancel these two four is wrong and three is definitely correct three is definitely correct now whether you go for one or two is up to you i go for one because one is very sure two you can use it but generally nobody uses it okay so answer is one and three that's how i approach to this question i know that some of you who kept two and this option your emotion will be telling you that 
See, alcohol can be used. Nothing have. Of course, alcohol can be used in the bottles, but nobody does it. No shop. In no shop, you can purchase alcohol in the plastic bottles. Okay. Friends, not a bird. Golden mashir. Actually, it is a fish. Tiger fish. Share means tiger. Ma means much means fish. Means actually, it's a tiger fish in the that you find in the water. So this is not a bird. Seventh one is very easy fact. And also eighth one is also a fact. The answer is alfalfa chickpea clover from legume family, leguminous Fibonacci family. So alfalfa chickpea and clover. One, three, four is answer. It's very direct factual question. Everybody knows that. And friends, biotechnology also people know it. Even Gujarat is using it. Basically, wherever the coral, corals are deformed, they reconstruct it. They restore, restore the corals which are damaged. If you have a large coral reef in which some parts are damaged, you can renovate, you can uh, restore them using this uh, biotechnology. It is there in the news, everybody knows the answer. Miyawaki, everybody knows Miyawaki was from Japan and Miyawaki, a person from Japan, actually, you know, he developed this method of urban forest, small forest where shrubs will be there, herbs will be there, higher plants will be there in different layers. So it's a creation of mini forest in urban areas. This is also, this came in UPS before also. Similarly, friend, see, these days government is mostly using open source digital platform which you can actually modify, open source. That means the license version you can take and you can do the modifications accordingly and most all these uh, government initiatives were done on the open source digital platform only. All are correct. Answer is D. Also same is the case, Web 3.0, the latest, the latest thing Web 3.0 as you know very well these days blockchain technology used why because blockchain technology nobody can enter and nobody can you know uh, deceive the customers nobody can manipulate the data it is group controlled no partner government can control it completely no partner private company can control it the all the users can collectively control it that is the advantage of any blockchain technology so web 3.0 all are correct for example enables people to control their own data blockchain based social networks is used and collectively, is operated collectively by the users. So all three are correct in this one. Sorry friends. Now, third question. What is SaaS? Basically SaaS, see, SaaS also, once you purchase a SaaS, you can customize it, you can change the user interface, you can customize according to your will, you can use it on the system or on the mobile device, whatever. For example, SaaS, after buying it, customize interface, you can do it. And you can use in the mobile device, even see all these things actually you can use in the mobile device either as an app or you can use it in the internet. I mean, on the laptop you can use, system you can use, or mobile device you can use, and you can customize according to it. For example, uh, Yahoo is there. Yahoo, the back wallpaper, you can change it. The user interface can be changed, you know. For Outlook or Yahoo, you can change the font, the way it appears, you can change everything, customizable basically. So all three are correct in here, all three are correct. Friends, fractional orbital bombardment system, if this is the earth, you release the missile into the orbit. If this is the earth, release the missile from here, for example, you want to drop the missile at this place, you release from orbit, you release from the earth, it goes into orbit. It goes in the orbit of the earth. For example, if this is the earth, from here you release the missile. The missile follows the orbit of the earth and when the place comes where you want to drop the missile here, exactly here it comes out of the orbit and falls on the place. Till here it goes on the orbit then it comes down. So see, a missile is put in the, in the orbit around the earth and D it comes out of the orbit over the target where you want to release it. Qubit, see Qubit is there in the news from last many years, current affairs. Qubit is a quantum bit, that is a basic unit of the quantum computing, quantum information, the basic unit is Qubit. Right question, right question. Friends, all these things, the RFI or the wireless LAN or the, you know, the television of closed circuit, all of them are short range only. All of them are short range devices. So it's also a direct question. It means all of you easily know about these things.
right question i don't think i need to explain about each of these things how it is a short range device all of them are short range device they can communicate in the short range then again biofilms is right question basically biofilms are nothing but bacteria accumulating uh, with a layer on top of it it can be there on the processed foods on the food items on the teeth on the body parts can be anywhere and actually they are resistant not only to antibiotic they are resistant to any outside thing not to antibiotics so actually biofilm biofilm all three are correct all three are correct regarding the biofilm again probiotics is a combination of bacteria and yeast it will be there naturally in the body it can be made outside also both for example probiotics are made both bacteria, made of correct bacteria and yeast and uh, it's found in the food sponges but they do not see they do not naturally occur is wrong here is a mistake here they do not naturally occur that is wrong they naturally occur in the body in the gut in the body naturally occur probiotics they help in digestion of the scratch so only two is wrong only two is wrong so option one or three friends you can find the explanation in our website in our website we uploaded the key completely with explanation you can go through website and go through this explanation that i have given here <coughs> friends again here see actually the kovi shield the kovi shield does not use mrna it uses vector the viral vector it uses the viral vector it does not use mrna this is wrong the remaining remaining a kind of sputnik 5 vaccine it's correct vector based covax is also correct pathogen based but covid but the covi shield the covi shield is not on a mrna platform it is actually a viral vector platform vector based platform only so only one is wrong remain correct friends see when you see these kind of questions you know to think much can a solar storm cause tsunami how is tsunami created when underwater earthquake underwater volcano underwater landslides comes only tsunami tsunami comes out how can tsunami come because of solar flares so obviously two is wrong tsunami cannot be created if two is a, if two is wrong see if two is wrong among given options among given options you cancel all the options with two see two cancel it two cancel it then what is there only c is answer only c is answer because see two two to cancel the tsunami thing so the main thing is answer as i told you i am not here i am not here to explain you in detail about every option like a student if i am a student how will I, how will i solve the question that kind of approach i want to explain in this session this is a factual thing friend you should know about it actually actually hn sanal committee is correct For after the report of hn sanal committee only the content of court act was passed this is correct and supreme high court to punish correct see friends constitution of india defines civil contempt no actually civil contempt and criminal contempt has nothing to do with constitution of india they come from crpc and cpc so three so three is wrong so three is wrong option is 1 2 and 4 remaining are correct remaining correct friends actually this question is slightly uh, different because generally it's not there in lakshmikant most of us is lakshmikant for polity is not there in ncert is also generally if you talk to lawyers or anybody who has studied the law in your class general discussion should understand the point here is anybody may be see here they gave that only government law officers and legal firms are recognized advocates no it's not like that even corporate lawyers pay attorney anybody who is practicing law is called advocate so this is wrong here they telling that corporate lawyers paid lawyers are not recognized as advocates that is wrong so one is wrong two is correct the bar council actually has a power power to you know uh, they tell about legal education how legal should be because bar council is nothing but group of lawyers all the lawyers will be registered in that so they have the authority to tell about legal education two is correct one is wrong so option is b friends this is right from from lakshmikant Uh, president of india obligatory see a bill amending constitution requires by recommendation not required actually any constitution amendment bill any constitutional amendment bill does not require prior recommendation of president it's not a money bill not required okay 
then when a constituent member bill this is one is wrong it is obligatory for president of India to give us an yes it is obligatory see he can actually ask them to reconsider it but he has no right to deny the bill he can ask he can request the parliament parliament means he can request the Lok Sabha Sabha to reconsider their opinion but he has no right to deny the bill he has to give the assent okay so two is correct only it is obligatory for president of India to give us both. This is also correct. Joint sitting is not there for it. So obviously only one is wrong. So two and three are correct. Friend, in the constitution, there is no classification like cabinet minister, minister of state, no classification. In fact, even the cabinet minister is not mentioned in the constitution. Only in the 44th Constitution Amendment Act, because previously national emergency was declared by then government in order to reduce the misusing of national emergency they said that when president has to declare emergency cabinet committee cabinet ministers actually should give, shall give a note like that only cabinet is mentioned in the 44th concernment act through is added through the amendment is added however the classification of what is cabinet minister what is that is clearly not there everybody knows that so one is wrong but two is correct 15 percent is correct. So, only two is answer. <coughs> Friends, only Lok Sabha. What can only Lok Sabha do? No confidence motion against Council of Ministers. Because emergency definitely has something to do with entire parliament. Raj Sabha is also involved in declaring emergency. Not declaring, ratifying. President declares it, but ratify it, Raj Sabha is also involved. Raj Sabha. So, one is wrong. This is not exclusive power of Lok Sabha only. Raj Sabha is also involved. Similarly, President impeachment definitely President means President is both for Lok Sabha and Raj Sabha. So, obviously by common sense also only Lok Sabha cannot impeach President. Raj Sabha is required in that. So, answer is only two because uh, uh, Council of Ministers means basically only Lok Sabha is responsible responsible for the you know Council of Ministers. Only Council of Ministers are responsible for Lok Sabha. Hence, B is two is correct. Friends, as we are seeing many cases, the law does not provide any time frame. As you know, in many states, in many states, though clearly you can see, for example, opposition party members are coming into the ruling party, jumping ruling party, like Ayaram, Gayaram. Even then, speaker is not taking any decision. Actually, as per law, speaker has to suspend them or dismiss them, but is not doing that. So that, that clearly shows that, clearly shows that there is no time frame. Okay, so. 2 is correct. The last specifies that normal legislature cannot join any political party within 6 months. Friends, actually the opposite. Before 6 months only has to join. For example, I am a nominated person, nominated in Lok Sabha, State Assembly, whatever. Within the first 6 months only I have to join any political party, not after that. So, after that I have to resign. After that I have to resign to join. So, 1 is wrong, 2 is correct. Friends, here also, Attorney General, yes, correct. Solicitor, no. So, see, uh, as Lakshmi Gandhi can rightly read, Attorney General has a right to participate in any meeting of Lok Sabha. He can sit in the parliament, I mean, Lok Sabha, Raj Sabha, he can sit there and he can discuss, he can listen to the proceedings. But Solicitor General has no such right to do. So, one is wrong. Second, they go on to Constitution of India. This is, a, this is a good option, tricky option. Generally, what happens is, as the government only appoints Attorney General, when government designs, Attorney General generally resigns. See, there is no law saying that if government resigns, Attorney General has to resign. No law like that. But generally they will resign because they are in favor of the government. No, if government goes, they will go. But what he has said, according to the Constitution of India, he has to resign. No, there is nothing like that. This is also wrong. Okay, so answer is neither of them. Neither one nor two. Friends, roots. Roots is a very important part in fundamental rights. We studied that in fundamental rights of Lakshmi or any other book. So, mandamus will not lie against predordination unless yes. See, only predordination, mandamus cannot be there. But if the predordination is doing some duties given by the government, then mandamus will come. So, one is correct. Mandamus will not lie against a government company wrong. See, private company may not be there. But once it is a government company, mandamus will be there. So, two is wrong. Two is wrong, okay. One is right. Any two is wrong. One is right. 
and any public minded person can be prejudicial to yes any public minded person anybody in the public interest can do it so only two is wrong these are correct friends basically the idea is anything related to government madamus can be there anything purely private madamus cannot be there can a person company whatever it's a it's a direct question next one ayushman bharat friend this question also is slightly confusing question there are many keys by many institutes given for this particular question and let me tell you what i feel about this question see ayushman bharat digital machine everybody knows about i know to explain detail about the scheme but see it has seamless portability is correct anywhere you go in india from one state to another state you can use that card you can use it basically okay as it aims to achieve see it aims to achieve universal health care correct the actual aim to achieve every citizen of india should be part of it actually it is aiming the aim of ayushman bharat is that all indians should be able to make use of it all indians but every citizen should be should be part of it ultimately friend this is a mistake it's ultimately okay every citizen should be part of it ultimately is wrong ultimately there is no rule that you should be a part should be is according to me is not right thing okay similarly private public hospitals as as ashman bharat is actually slowly every government hospital most of the private hospitals are slowly adopting it slowly adopting it but there is no rule that they must adopt it nothing like that according to me nothing like that so according to me one and two are not right only three is correct according to me however however something that see as a first part universal health coverage every citizen of india the idea of ayushman bharat is that every citizen should be part of it should be generally so they think two is also correct similarly as slowly hospitals are coming into it there is a chance of you thinking that at some point of time every hospital should adopt it because it's slowly expanding no so some something one and two both may be correct but according to me only three is correct however i have kept this one also so that you know some people who have their own logic of why 1 and 2 is correct they have their own logic no they can also get satisfied friend jeopardy speaker directly from the polity any book polity book uh, as for us procedure election jeopardy speaker correct lok sabha either from principal party or friends there, there is nothing like friends actually principal opposition party there is a mistake in typing here there is a mandatory provision wrong there is no mandatory provision is only a convention that's all it's only a convention that a speaker comes from the ruling party deputy speaker generally should come from the opposition party opposition party nothing like opposition party or ruling party there is no there is no uh, mandatory provision like that so two is wrong okay the uh, same power speaker correct when speaker is not there same powers only we got appointed deputy speaker uh, motion is moved by speaker is wrong speaker does not move obviously speaker does not move any motion for deputy speaker generally either prime minister or parliamentary affairs minister will propose propose and it will go on process so 2 and 4 are wrong so 1 and 3 friend this is a direct question basically international monetary fund has these tools or instruments for for helping in emergency conditions it can help member countries through this mechanism generally it helps the low income under developed countries through this mechanism and direct question imf has these tools and mechanism to help the countries in emergency situations emergency situations financial emergency basically for the economy i think you know that basically need does not consider any inflation need means nominal nominal and effective exchange rate means the indian currency versus a basket of international accessible currencies what is exchange rate of indian currency with those currencies in general is called need but if you use the inflation it's called real real exchange rate now an increase in the near indicates appreciation of rupee obviously near increasing means 
the value of Indian rupee against basket of currencies, first take, take dollar, against dollar value of Indian currency is increasing, that is the meaning, so one is correct. The increase in rear indicates improvement in the trade, comp that is wrong actually, why because if the rear is increasing, the exchange rate is increasing, Indian rupee becomes costly, then nobody will export, nobody will import anything from India, because if any country has to import any goods from India, they have to pay in dollars. But now what happens? The rear has increased. So the value of Indian currency is more. So they have to pay more dollars. When they import from India, now they have to pay more dollars. That means they will stop importing from India. So India's competitive advantage will fall down. That is why China sometimes artificially reduces the value of its currency. So two is wrong, definitely. An increasing trend domestic inflation related inflation other countries likely to Yes, obviously, because as inflation is increasing, the, the uh, difference between the near and rear of India with other countries also increases. It's purely based on the inflation. So, only two is wrong. So, one and three are correct. Friends, if inflation is too high, Inflation high means what? Inflation high means there is a lot of uh, money flowing, liquid money flowing in the country. So when inflation is high, what will RBI do? RBI will try to take that money off the people, suck the money from the markets. So take the money, only then inflation can be reduced. So if inflation is high, RBI is likely to buy government securities. No friends, if uh, RBI is buying government securities, what does it mean? You buy a security and give money to people. Buying government security means if RBI is buying the security, government security, RBI has to give money now. If RBI gives money, already money is more. So money will still increase. Inflation will still increase. So exactly opposite is wrong. Okay. Uh, so if eliminate one, two and three. Generally, if eliminate one, one eliminate, eliminate, eliminate. No need to think further. Direct two and three. That's how we had answer in the exam. No, in the exam, we will not sit and keep on thinking about every option, right? This is how we approach. Friends, G20 common framework, directly in the news, we all know, basically it is initiative endorsed by G together with the Paris Club, that in fact we all know that and also it supports low income countries that have debt which is unsustainable, debt with unsustainable debt, that means debt which they cannot clear in future, so both are correct only, so option is C, it's right current affairs, nothing to explain there actually. Now inflation indexed bond, that means basically the bonds, for example, if I purchase a bond, sometimes I may be afraid that if inflation is increasing very fast, the bond value may be same, so there is no point of buying a bond. So in order to solve that problem, they actually sell inflation indexed bonds, so that if inflation is increasing on the bond also, the inflation will be added and I get more income from the bond. So now, so here what is happening basically, uh, government can reduce the corporate profits borrowing by way of IABs, I provide protection to investors on certain regarding inflation the interest received as well as capital gains. Friends, there is it's, it, there are no tax benefits on the IABs. On IABs, there are no tax benefits because IAB, generally you purchase the bond to reduce the risk of inflation. No? Then why should government again give tax on that? Even if you do not know it, by using common sense you can understand that definitely government will not uh, give any tax benefits on these kind of products which are less risky. Okay, So 3 is wrong. So answer 1 and 2, if 3 is wrong. Friends, foreign owned e-commerce, e recently the rules have come, 2020 rules of foreign based e-commerce company, the rule is that the e-commerce company can use their platform to sell others goods to the public, it's a platform between the sellers of the goods and purchaser of the goods, the, the e-commerce company cannot sell their own goods, they cannot sell their own goods as per 2020 rules, okay. So, they can sell their own goods, no, they cannot sell their own goods. Then the degree to which they can own big sellers platform is limited, it is only 25 percent, it is limited 25 percent only, limited to, hence 2 is correct, so 2 is answer. <coughs> friends, actually real sector means any, one, friends one second, sorry, yeah, friends, real sector, 
real sector means where the transaction happens between normal the the, indi, the domestic people the farmers normal corporates non financial corporates non financial corporates for example farm harvesting crops correct textile means converting normal companies not a financial company but here commercial bank is a financial company so this is not a real sector and issuing remittance bond see anything that is financial corporate will not be included in the real sector transaction so only one and two are correct <coughs> friends indirect transfer means for example i have an asset, i am a foreigner i have an asset in india and i have some shares on the asset now instead of transferring the asset if i transfer the shares indirectly means inst i am not transferring the assets i have asset in india but i am transferring shares of the asset that's called indirect transfer so see here they give the foreign companies transfer shares derived from derived actually derived derived the substantial value from asset allocated in india means a company transfers the shares but the shares underlying value is an asset which is in india so that is direct definition direct question only <coughs> see here <coughs> expenditure for example you know what is capital expenditure capital expenditure means you spend money on something for long term it will help you in the long term revenue expenditure means consumption expenditure you spend money on something short term it will over immediately it will not give you any long term benefits that's called as revenue expenditure now the question is all about capital expenditure and revenue expenditure see new technology for example i am a company industry i purchase a new technology for manufacturing that technology i'll use it for next many years it will be helpful for me generating revenue so it comes under the capital expenditure correct then for example debt financing for example i have taken debt from somebody if i repay the debt how can it help me in the long term so that is not capital expenditure this is revenue expenditure only while equity see equity financing means i will get because of that i'll get money future in further continues i get money it's a long term so this actually is a capital expenditure second option they have reversed so only one is correct <coughs> friends share of household finance savings goes to government of course for example i i am a household i have some financial savings my family has some savings i put the savings in the bank and the bank the money in the bank is used by the government sometimes government borrows from the banks and i the my savings sometimes with the savings i purchase securities from the government so all my savings means some of my savings which i save in the bank or purchase government securities are going to the government that means indirectly government is borrowing from these savings so one is correct the data dead securities the dead security issued at market rate rates of course it is also internal debt only internal debt means they are they are, they are um, actually they are taking debt from the public of the india they are not going out of india it's not extra commercial borrowing within india only so it's a internal debt both are correct only both are right and it's a larger component it's actually a large component of the internal debt it's a large component <coughs> friends the direct question basically rice cultivation of rice releases a lot of nitrous oxide and methane you can read anywhere almost like 40 to 50 times more nitrous oxide comes out of that methane also that's why to reduce the methane actually next question is similar to this one to reduce the methane basically in the soil while cultivating rice more moisture is there in soil as more moisture is there in soil more methane released so if you want to reduce the methane you have to reduce the moisture of the soil anyhow for this question rice is correct answer it releases both but what is sri sri means if you have a land you divide the land into several squares you divide the land into several squares and at the end of each square you put the seedlings you grow the plants because of which the number of seeds will reduce the reduced actually it is seeds reduced seeds requirement because of that and methane actually in the sri you use minimal amount of water so amount of water also reducing so moisture of soil also reduces because of it methane also reduces methane reduces and yes this is also this is correct this is correct this is correct this is also because as you use less water you no need to pump more water so the current is also conserved here so all three are correct 
Friend, third question, West Africa. Actually, Lake Fagubin, because of drought, less rainfall, it dried up. It became almost like a desert in Africa, West Africa, Western part of Africa. Friends, uh, people from Andhra and Telangana can answer it very easily. The Gandhikota Khan is also called as the Great Canyon of India. Just like the Great Canyon of USA, it's Great Canyon of India. It is from the Penner River. Penner River. Okay. This is the right question, friends. Namcha Barwa is near Tibet and whereas Garhwal Himalayas is in the Uttarakhand area. And no crack 2017 glimpse question. No crack is in Meghalaya, not Sikkim. So only two is correct. Nanda Devi is only correct. It is geography question, map pointing, right question, NCRT question basically. Even the classes also, in the classroom coaching also, all these facts will never be taught. You have to read these facts from the textbooks only. NCRT is only. 11th you know very well. 11th means West Asia. 11th is West Asia. Uh, this is a direct question. Uh, this is Africa, this is Saudi Arabia, this is India, this is Europe, this is Mediterranean Sea, Mediterranean Sea, this is Europe, this is Africa. Here is a West Asia, the Syria, the Jordan, these areas. And these areas are the east of the Mediterranean Sea. We call it the 11th, 11th. So answer is uh, A. Friends, which of the Afghanistan? Obviously, Azerbaijan is not at all near Afghanistan. Azerbaijan is far away, a Caucasian area. So, one is wrong. If one is wrong, I do not even look at anything. See, one A is wrong, one B is wrong, one D is wrong. So, obviously, answer is C. No need to even think about that. Right answer. Friends, this is a confusing question. Among the confusing questions that are discussed now, this is also a confusing question because the point is, monazite is a rare earth, yes we know, monazite contains thorium, yes, basically the sand beach sand, the monazite contains thorium, both are one and two are correct, everybody knows that, but now here, mona, monazite occurs naturally in the entire Indian coast, entire, entire Indian coast, if you take India friends, Gujarat, from Gujarat to West Bengal, if you take India, Gujarat, West Bengal, if you take India, Gujarat, West Bengal, if you take India, Kerala coast, Kerala coast beach sand, Kerala coast beach sand has more amount of monazite, exploitable amount, exploitable. That means Kerala, that's why actually when India got independence in 1947, Travancore King British has interest in the, anyhow friends we can discuss later. The point is in Kerala the monazite is exploitable. From the thorium you can actually go for the third stage of nuclear development program of India. That is a, there in the nuclear program of India, third stage plan is thorium only. But the point is entire Indian coast is a doubtful thing because it is there in Odisha, it is there, Vaisak it is there, some parts of Tamil Nadu it is there, Kerala it is there, Gujarat we do not know exactly, Goa we are not, we are not sure, West Bengal also we are not sure. So entire may be wrong but what I think is Monazite may be there and throughout India but the percentage of Monazite is very less. In Kerala the percentage is high so that you can exploit, take the thorium, exploit it. But other places of Indian coast, monazite is there but in least quantities, it is there but not exploitable. For example, gold may be there in many places but only some places the ore is more concentrated where you can exploit the gold. In such way, I think this is correct. Okay. Then in India, government bodies only can process or export monazite. That is correct. Basically, no private body is allowed to ex export, export monazite. No. So, 1, 2, 4 are compulsory correct. 1, 2, 4 are compulsory correct. 3, if it is right, answer is D, other answer is B. So, that this is the point. So, more occurs naturally in the entire Indian coast. Some people say entire is a negative word. I mean, how can it be there? Entire coast, not possible. But I think it is there, but not very focused or highly concentrated. So, I go for D. However, I still leave some space for those people who want to think it is B. Friend, direct geography question NCRT, June 21st is the longest day. June 21st means second half of the June. You know those things, you know, the longest day of Northern Hemisphere, Southern Hemisphere, December. Equinox happens in the March, September. So, in that, June 21st is the answer. Longest day means basically on the day, sun is exactly on the Tropic of Cancer, exactly. Sun is exactly on the this equator, Tropic of Cancer, Capricorn, sun is exactly on Tropic of Cancer. That's why the day is the longest. That's the maximum sun can go. After that, sun actually comes down again. 
because sun oscillates between the tropics now friends see here basically only two and three are correct because sastam kota sastam kota is in kerala it's not actually sastam kota the spelling the mistake is there is in kerala whereas the hokera wetland is in kashmir so one and four are wrong only two three are correct only two pairs are correct same here also same here also only dhauli and eragudi are correct dhauli odisha eragudi they are correct people who are from south side they know the name eragudi means naturally they are andhra pradesh eragudi andhra pradesh only but three and four are wrong the jogoda and kalsi for example jogoda is in odisha kalsi is in uttarakhand uttarakhand but of course these questions if you know you can answer you cannot answer i can't do it's a very difficult question same see this year they gave mostly this kind of questions this kind of how many pairs are correct for first time i'm seeing in ups prelims this kind of questions how many pairs always the questions are two and three are correct one and four like that but now they ask how many pairs are correct so here also as you can see the kingdoms here the nanuka is correct jay shakti is wrong it's parmara and nagbata is correct and uh, boja is wrong boja is wrong so only two pairs are correct this also you should know you should know the king and dynasty uh, in the ncert books all four are not there so you should have read some other textbooks like uh, sadish chandra whatever or even before that friend this question is wrong i mean i mean the the whoever prepared this question from our institute they have made a mistake here they have filed wrongly please don't consider this this is wrong the correct answer is also this is not soil classification i'm really sorry about that the classification of varna was known to this is correct option b is correct please don't consider this please, it was a typing error typing mistake done by our team member who has means un unknowingly highlighted the a the answer is b the answer is b friend the classification of varna was known to sangam poets during the sangam see in sangam literature sangam poets clearly classified the varna system each varna each varna and ashok please tell kiran later to change the answer here it's wrong answer is b okay so the sangam poets actually clearly know the different varnas and they even talked about each varna which kind of work they will do each varna which kind of work they will do also they clearly mentioned okay so answer is b direct question very easy question friends yoga vasistha was translated in the persian into persian by you know panipati nizamuddin panipati and actually akbar personally asked him to do it akbar during his time personally asked nizamuddin panipati to convert yoga vasistha translate into persian so akbar is the answer it's a fact that you should know friends basically uh, recently everybody expected this question as uh, prime minister of india came came to telangana and he has uh, you know uh, inaugurated this statue of ramanuja so in all news papers also is covered and all institutes also gave many questions on ramanuja so there is spelling mistake here it's ramanuja it's ramanuja ramanuja and anyhow he is a bhakti saint and the best means of salvation was devotion of obviously devotion is bhakti basically through the bhakti only means the, though there are many forms of salvation bhakti is the best form of salvation so this there's a direct answer i hope everybody knows this answer and everybody would mark correctly and also friends here <coughs> friends uh, so the temple of the jyotirma shrine is so the temple is given all were correct done by friends is not radhakrishnan first president of india babu rajendra prasad babu rajendra prasad was the one who actually has done the installation of the temple the pran pratishtha was done by babu rajendra prasad only three is wrong remain two are correct answer is correct okay 
friends b cells and t cells are nothing but they give immunity it came many times in the newspaper also it gives immunity immunity means basically to protect the body from diseases any pathogens diseases caused by any kind of pathogen these cells protect us it gives immunity to us so d is answer friends even by using common sense even by using common sense anybody can tell that nanoparticles exist in nature how can you say they don't exist in nature all kinds of particles exist in nature so one is wrong definitely one is wrong okay you can these two things now out of the remaining two nanoparticles of some metallic oxides are used in manufacture of some cosmetics obviously even if you do not know the answer also you can take a genuine reasonable intellectual guess you can guess it that some metallic oxides are used for some cosmetics nano metallic so obviously correct only no so answer is 2 and 3 <coughs> friends dna barcoding actually used to find out for example in the in the food any unwanted plants animals are there you can find it or even see you can easily identify uh, 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 the uh, difference between two species two plants these kind of things you can understand based on dna you can identify the difference between two species two plants two animals or in the food you eat you can find that some animal which is not wanted is there you can find out but age you cannot find out how can barcoding find the age obvious age is wrong so one is wrong so answer two and three that is also according to me common sense only age cannot be found out using dna you know because dna will not change with the age you know as your age increases dna will not change right so obviously one is wrong two and three correct Diet question from NCERT different diet question basically <coughs> basically nitrogen oxide you know mixes with the rain water to give to give nit nitric acid similar sulfur dioxide mixes with the water to give sulfuric acid so you just uh, write something sulfuric acid whereas ozone carbon dioxide does not do that so 2 and 4 are the answer okay acid rain acid rain basically friends here means actually this also according to me is a common sense question though you never read it anywhere though it, it was not taught to you by any faculty in your institute whatever still by using common sense you can understand it according to me most of the questions according to me in upsc can be solved using common sense means with the knowledge that you already gained and some common sense for example this earth surface of the earth if the cloud is very near very near and very thick cloud only then it can cool the surface how can very high cloud a very thin high cloud how can it cool the earth it's not possible no so it cooling surface is wrong wrong similarly low clouds having high absorption for radiation emitted from the surface and thus cause warming no friends low clouds low clouds cannot absorb the infrared rays which are very powerful strong near the surface only high clouds can absorb the infrared rays but that i think is not common sense you should know something about that but one you can definitely by common sense so two is also wrong two is also wrong it's not low clouds it's high clouds only so answer is neither <coughs> friends bdbd large surface settlement friends this is there in the news it's uga not kenya uganda it's uganda it means if you have read the news this year from the newspaper direct news from the international relations have been given not relations international affairs direct questions are given so one is wrong uh basically one is wrong some people fled to from south sudan civil war bidi bidi you know that because some people fled to south sudan went to uganda and they lived there two is correct so answer can be these two some people who fled to civil war somalia live in dadaab refugee camp kenya yes actually some from somalia they went to kenya to confuse you they gave kenya here actually this is correct two and three both are correct so see but that generally you should know if you have interest of reading newspaper you should not think that every article comes in newspaper ir ir article should be related to india only that kind of mind you should remove out of interest just try to understand what is happening anything in a large scale happening any country anywhere in the world should be of your interest though it does not affect india directly you should be aware of that
friend C. Again, this also you should know. Basically, you should know what are the states. For example, if even if you do not know, I can answer because I know what, which is a part of Turkey and which are part of Eastern Europe. East European countries will not power Turkey. Means based on that ge geographical location, you can identify. For example, only Azerbaijan, Uzbekistan in these given things are Turkic states. Actually, there are five Turkic states. See here, they are given. Azerbaijan and Uzbekistan. Only these two are given in the options. But Turkey, Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan are also part of Turkic states. But you should know it. If you do not know it, if you uh, if you know the world map, you can identify which are lying near Turkey. Which are away from Turkey. In that way, also you can tell the answer. So answer is only two and five. Friends, largest solar park is in Rajasthan. Generally, you know that Rajasthan has more insulation and hence more ability to generate power. So obviously, large solar park is not obviously, but it is in Rajasthan. Kerala is fully solar power entrenched airport is correct. The largest floating solar power. Actually, recently Andhra Pradesh, Andhra Pradesh near Samhadri has the largest floating solar photovoltaic power plant. So it's a, it's a fact you should know. So one and three are wrong. Only two is correct. It's a factual question. And friends, even this is a factual question. Basically, up to 12 nautical miles, you call it as territorial water. And up to that, innocent passages. I mean, anybody who does not miss, who are not our enemy. And who are just traveling for their uh, national interest, who have to pass through that route in order to go to another country, we can allow them. We can allow them in the territorial sea. Means if this is the country, till 12 nautical miles is called territorial. Till 24 is called contiguous. Till 200 is called economic, extra economic zone. So that is a direct question from any book. Everybody knows about what is contiguous or territorial water. And EEZ is up to 200 nautical miles. So, all, all are correct. All three are correct. Friends, Senkaku Islands. Actually, Senkaku is a word used by Japanese. Same island chain is called as Diao. Diao Islands. Senkaku or Diao, both are same. It is in South China Sea. Japan and China have disputes. China has dispute over several islands. Parcel Islands, Prattley Islands, Senkaku Islands. But this Senkaku is between Japan and China. So direct question. Japan and China directly in East China Sea. Direct answer. Friends, you may be knowing that China has a uh, permanent military base not in Chad but Djibouti. Djibouti is near uh, that, uh, Ethiopia, Eastern Africa, Djibouti. So Djibouti, Djibouti is the answer. One is wrong. All remain in three suspension of constitution. Friends, actually, these things I know most of students will not read because most of us read only those international FAs that are relevant to India. But now with this paper, I think you should start reading. Miss, if anything interesting, very large impact is happening. For example, suspension of parallel president, an economic depression, suspension of constitution of the country. Definitely should read. All three are correct. All three are correct. Friends, again, I told you this, this year they have given like that. Basically, Catalonia is from Spain. Though you do not know current affairs, Catalonia is there in Seattle also. In that way, Catalonia is Spain. And Cabo Delgado is also Mozambique. But that I think most of you do not know. Uh, for example, maybe because the exam is there, now some of you might read about it, but most it is not there in the news according to me. I have never followed in the news. So these two are wrong, remain two are correct. So only two pairs are correct. According to me, it's a difficult question. According to me, it's a very difficult question. Again, friend, this question I think is uh, slightly confusing. Wild animals are sole property of government. Actually, it's property of government only wild animals. And no other can actually take possession of any wild animal. Only government has a right over the wild animals. So it's correct only. But some people say that sole property is extreme word. But according to me, it's correct only. And... Uh, yeah, definitely, this is also a correct statement. This, this statement actually makes sense, even if you do not know anything about that, it makes sense. However, apprehension, this is a problem here. See, for example, if there is a solid evidence that an animal is causing danger to human life, evidence is there, enough data is there, only then chief warden can, you know, be satisfied that animal is dangerous, only then he can actually capture or kill the animal. So, apprehension is not enough. 
satisfaction is important for chief wild warden satisfaction is important any wild animal if you want to kill a wild animal if i have to i am chief wild warden i have to kill a wild animal i should have enough data to my satisfaction just apprehension apprehension means fear that the animal may do something to us the animal may cause harm with apprehension you cannot kill a wild animal definitely it is wrong so i think uh, english is a point here because some of our students actually thought this is same as satisfaction because of uh, lack of that uh, no, the understanding of the words Appre with, with apprehension you can never kill any animal so three is wrong answer one and two friends direct question because ant can cultivate fungi generally no need to know that because it's not a means if you know you know other don't know that's all okay common sense does not play here economy friends according to me economy they have given highly conceptual very means if you are conceptually clear you can easily answer all the economic questions no economic question is factual based according to me or conceptual based for example try to multiply with filter pull it cattle fed yes cattle fed may increase the interest of cost from the existing external commercial borrowings devaluation which can decrease uh, decrease the currency as well as friends external commercial borrowings in what Exter external commercial borrowings means we borrow the money from outside from other countries for example we borrow we borrow dollars from usa now what they are saying devaluation of domestic currency devaluation is what our indian rupee value falls down against dollar now for example i have borrowed 20 dollars from usa as an ecb now tomorrow when i am repaying it today when i am borrowing the dollars let us say today 1 dollar is equal to 70 rupees today tomorrow because of devaluation of dollar 1 dollar becomes let us say 100 rupees let us say now today when i borrowed i thought that okay i have to repay 70 rupees but tomorrow i have to repay 100 rupees i have to repay more so it's a risky thing so devaluation of currency does not decrease it increase the risk of ecb understand if the currency devalues no the risk increases of ecbs so definitely three is wrong remain these two means i can explain but the point is you know friends you can also easily understand from here so let us go one and two is correct is according to me uh, most of you who read newspaper regularly no need to read any standard economic textbook economic textbook is not required for this normally if you read newspaper you, you get a sense of these points friends here again is a confusing question so according to some people because some people are telling me that andhra andhra pradesh also produces tea friends every state will produce tea for example this classroom size of tea is produced by one state will you call it as tea producing state let us say one state is there out of the out of all states in india the last ranking state is there which produces only 1 kg of tea will you call it as tea producing state the question is how many of the above are generally known as tea producing state so at least you have to take maximum top 4 6 or top 10 you take top 10 states out of all the states in india you take top 10 top 10 can be called as tea producing you cannot call all states of india as tea producing states so in top 10 what is there for example kerala almost like fourth rank something like himachal eighth rank sixth rank i'm not i don't exact miss see like how we are given here yeah we are marked here so these are the top producing states so we will consider only three states andhra pradesh is not among top 10 so definitely cannot call it as generally known as tea producing state according this is my idea but if you feel that even even if you produce this much amount of tea still if you want to call it as a tea producing state then you mark all four states if that is your logic go for all four states friends in india credit gains are triggered by rb by seb this one thing is enough the credit rating agencies are regulated by seb in india obviously so two is wrong as two is wrong i mean one is wrong as one is wrong as one is wrong everything is gone one is left as one is wrong obviously you know to think about remaining options friends here there is a small mistake here actually it is a bank board bureau sorry for that bank board bureau 
which is correct the governor of rbi is the friends actually chairman of bank board buria is different appointed by different body there is no relation between the governor of rbi will not automatically play as chairman of bbi everybody knows that so one is wrong as one is wrong friends again the option they gave is wrong option sorry for that the options that they have given are wrong see one one because governor of rbi is chairman this is wrong thing wrong thing so anything with one is a wrong thing only okay so maybe i think this is two or three i'm again sorry the team that made the that made this the um, marks have made a small mistake here and the option one is wrong two and three are correct so two and three are correct friends convertible bonds convertible bonds mean actually they are called hybrid bonds hybrid means they can add uh, they can act as equity also friends one second friends just give me one second friends one second as it is raining here as it is raining here you know some wind is coming into the classroom from outside okay now coming back uh, convertible bonds are hybrid bonds you can convert them into equity also equity means convert them into shares also if you are interested so that means it has got less risk tomorrow if you if you think that uh, bond do not work in that way as a debt as a debt do not want it you can convert a share so risk is less anything that has less risk will have less interest only as is option to exchange the bond for equity they pay a lower rate of interest obviously when the risk is more they pay more interest here risk is less no so obviously by common sense also it is correct now the option to convert to equity affects the bond hold degree of indexation to of, of of course of course the consumer price index definitely based on the consumer price changes the equity also will get affected this is also common sense so both are correct only friends this is a direct uh, factual question india has become member of almost all, except i mean uh, except the nuclear regime all other thing india became member missile technology control regime australian group wasnr group we, be we became members of all three groups so on the fourth group is left over that to china is actually vetoing that anyhow eaib india is a member strong su also india is a member india is a member so factual question you should know it you cannot guess it you should know it all three are correct friends you may be as you read newspaper you may be knowing that really vietnam has been one of the fastest growing economies is growing very fast vietnam that's why india's relation with vietnam shall actually grow india should have a close tie with these kind of countries one is correct vietnam is led by spelling vietnam is led by multi party no only one party communist party only communist party vietnam two is wrong friend one is correct two is wrong let us see the options because generally in the exam you cannot see all options see one or two come to the options for example one is right no one is right mean these two possibilities are there but two is wrong no so this is wrong so only c is correct in that way you can proceed in india which one of the fall is one for maintaining price stability of control friends reserve bank of india previously was not the case only few years back reserve bank of india was entrusted to responsibility to take care of uh, inflation to control inflation so that it do not go beyond actually 4% plus or minus 2% it should not go beyond that so rbi is answer what is not fungible token consider the following statements friends the idea is not explain you about completely about nfts the idea is to observe the statements and if possible using common sense let us approach to the answer then able the digital basically whatever physical assets you have physical property you have you represent them digitally using blockchain technology just like how the currency is like a bitcoin but the point is digital currency has some called equality i have 30 bitcoins you have 20 bitcoins i can tell you that 
ever since two third of my bitcoins that kind of balancing is possible but in assets not possible in the assets i have certain assets which are digitally stored you have for example i have certain two three buildings in my hyderabad somebody has some land in some africa whatever now you cannot equate them that is the only problem otherwise non fungible tokens is nothing but digital representation of physical assets only they are unique cryptographic tokens that exist blockchain yes friends any this kind of things these days exist in blockchain only even if you do not know you can go ahead for example web 3.0 is blockchain uh, cryptocurrency blockchain anything that is digitally stored universally and on which trading is done definitely blockchain is used these days so this cannot hold they can trade yes, they can be correct or exchange equivalence is wrong friend they cannot be traded at equivalency because you cannot equ equate two different properties of different places right so three is wrong so one and two are correct again friend as i told you this type of questions are increased but be careful here be careful here not correctly matched which is not correctly matched so actually gandhi sagar madhya pradesh is correctly matched except that all three are wrongly matched so how many are not correctly matched three are not correctly matched some of our students marked one one because they thought correctly matched so sometimes you know this kind of mistake you be careful because last time one of our students missed prelims just by 1.3 marks only he is very capable candidate so you should be careful in the government of india act is a transfer friends i think uh, polity generally before going to the prelims examination 1919 act 19 you know right from the 853 act or right from the uh, uh, pits in the act you have to study all those acts remember the important facts for example 1919 act has reserved transfer reserved means those which are kept by the central government central transfer means those which are given to the provincial government provincial and according to me you no need to by heart these all subjects come under provincial government these all are come under central government no need to by heart like that use common sense for example administration justice is a larger thing definitely provinces cannot do that land revenue is a very important thing for the government of british british india very important they cannot give to provinces police of course police is completely in the control of central government so this is, but local self government means obvious central government does not require it that's why they they transfer it to the uh, provincial government this is a transferred subject remaining 1 2 3 are reserved subject reserved according to me still this is a common sense question only if you understand the logic of reserved and transferred in indian polity 1919 act you can answer it easily friends phanam is a co common thing uh, in the medieval india southern india the vijayanagara empire surrounding uh, sultanates sultanates phanam for example if it is a gold coin gold phanam like that they used to call it so direct answer this is a direct answer friends this is also right question you know that uh, ghadar party formed in the usa one of the members was raj bihari bose these two are not from these two are revolutions only they are also revolutions only from the hra or jugandhar but they are not from you know the gadar party so three is answer and um, diet question no logic here basic history question modern history and very important according to me very important question everybody knows this answer anybody who read any textbook of modern history can answer this question now clips mission friends clips mission also the constituent assembly would have members clips mission that actually wants india to stop revolting against the british during the time of the war they they made some promises if india follows it after the war they will do something so what they will do after the war they want to give constitution to india a constituent assembly can be formed indians only can be formed and they would be making the constitution for india in that nominated by the see provincial assemblies already elections were there at the time so the nomination is not correct actually elected from provincial government elections will happen princely states nominations will happen so and the some more members so basically this is wrong it's not nomination for provincial is election for provincial 
and nomination for princely states because princely states means kings will be there. Kings will not uh, allow elections, so they will nominate. But uh, provincial already that uh, uh, certain amount of democracy was there, so definitely elections will happen. Any province which is not yeah, which is not prepared for new constitution, they can join hands. But obviously, it is a, it is a strategy that they always follow. Even in the forties and also they said that which our countries do not want to part of India can come out. Even they can be part of uh, Pakistan or they can independent. These things are you can understand the British idea. If you understand, if you read modern history, if you know the British ideology, you can say two is correct. But one according to me is slightly factual. So two is correct. Answer is two. <coughs> Friends, here the confusion between Buddhism and Jainism. Basically, second one and fourth one, these two are Jain texts, and one and three are Buddhist texts. Buddhist, but that I think uh, based on the pronunciation, some people can tell, but it's not so easy. So, answer is two and four. It's a fact. <coughs> Friends, but this thing I think many people know that Aryadeva was a Buddhist scholar. I think many people know that. If you know he's a Buddhist scholar. Then you can uh, eliminate that. Remain into our courage. Remain into our courage. And according to me, you know, you should have read it somewhere. Without reading anywhere, you cannot answer it. Factual question. <coughs> the first Mongol invasion of India happened during the reign of Jalaluddin Khilji. No, friend, actually during the Balban. It is during the Balban time. During the reign of Amudin Khilji. One Mongol, Allah in Khilji, one Mongol assault marched up to Delhi and besieged the city. It is there in 7th NCRT. Same line, there is 7th NCRT. It is correct. 7th NCRT. Friend, there is a spelling mistake here. Not Amud in Khilji, spelling mistake. Obviously, I think you understand that. Mohammed bin Tughlaq temporarily lost portions of the Northwest Kingdom in the Mongols. Friends, actually, he lost the portions of Northwest, but not to the Mongols. He never lost it to the Mongols actually, Mohammed bin Tughlaq. Mohammed bin Tughlaq was a very strong king at the time. Though he shifted the capital twice, but still he never lost it to Mongols. So only two is correct. Only two is correct. Only local rebellions raised up. Once he moved from Delhi to the Maharashtra, local rebellion raised up. But Mongols never occupied the northwestern part. Uh, friends, factual question. Kula Dharan, with reference to the Indian medieval history, Indian history, which of who are the following are Kula Dharan? It is actually Sayyids among the Delhi Sultanates. The last Lodis are there, no, before Lodis, Sayyids were there. So Sayyids were called as Kula Dharan. It is a factual question. <coughs> Again, history question. Again, history question. The Dutch established the factories on the east coast of lands granted to them by Gaj by the Golconda. By the Golconda rules, not Gajapati. One is wrong. Friends, see, generally what I do is while solving it, first I I, I, I understand if I am sure about one is wrong. Now I will not look at the remaining things. I'll come to the option. See, one is wrong. So this is wrong. This is wrong. This is wrong. So options we go on over. Don't spend much time on second, third options. According to Kaul Adhishastra, friends, again, here, obviously, you would not have read it from any textbook. So, try to use some common sense here. If a son born, third point, see, if a son born to a female slave was fathered by her master, then son was entitled to the legal status. Obviously, for example, a master was there, and if he gives birth to a child with the slave, there is a slave woman under the master, and if he gives birth to the child, how can that child have the property rights? How can they have the legal status? Is it possible in that time? Do you think it is possible? Can really a king who has slaves and has children through the slaves, if the legal status is given to them, all of them will come for property, no? So obviously three is wrong. Understand? Using that logic also, common sense also you can understand. Remain into our courage. Okay. It is actually direct factual question. Uh, so which of these complex information or industrial disputes, judgments, payoff, all the lab issues? It is labor bureau. You can understand that it is a labor issue actually. All are labor issues. Try to understand the labor issues. So answer is C. But you cannot tell like that. You should already know the answer. Otherwise you cannot tell. Like the logic I used, you cannot do in the exam. 
సో కోల్ కంట్ ఆర్గనైజేషన్ ఫ్రెండ్ యాక్చువల్లీ అగైన్ అగైన్ యూ కెన్ యూస్ కామన్ సెన్స్ సి సిసిఓ ఇస్ ద మెయిన్ సోర్స్ ఆఫ్ కోల్ స్టాటిస్టిక్స్ ఇన్ గవర్నమెంట్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా ఆఫ్ కోర్స్ ఇట్ ఇట్ మెయింటైన్ స్టాటిస్టిక్స్ ఇట్ మాంటర్స్ ప్రోగ్రెస్ డెవలప్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ క్యాపిటల్ ఎస్ ఇట్ మాంటర్స్ ద ప్రోగ్రెస్ డెవలప్మెంట్ మెయింటైన్ స్టాటిస్టిక్స్ నెంబర్స్ ట్రై టు సెటిల్ డిస్ప్యూట్స్ ఓకే ఇట్ హియర్స్ యాక్చువల్ ఇట్స్ హియర్స్ ఇట్ హియర్స్ ఇన్ అబ్జెక్షన్ ఆఫ్ ద గవర్నమెంట్ నోటిఫికేషన్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ if government gives a notification definitely cco does not have that much power that it can listen to the government notification also any notification given by the given by the government is definitely final cco cannot uh, object to that maybe courts can do that but cco cannot do that as a government body obviously right not possible it ensures coal mining companies deliver friends do you think it's possible really really coal mining companies sell the coal to many clients will the cco go and see whether exact time is followed by every client is impossible right obviously so 3 and 4 are wrong by using common sense also they are wrong so only one and two is correct <coughs> again this is a direct question anybody can answer this question is there from many years so if anything comes under fifth schedule the tribal area fifth schedule then in that area any land owned by the tribe cannot be taken by the non tribe obviously so this would prevent the transfer of land basically fifth schedule is to protect the tribal culture tribal land tribal property tribal rights so obviously a is the answer <coughs> friends again this is a confusing question because many people see the india sanitation coalition platform pro sustainable sanitation and funded by government of india actually who does not fund indian sanitation coalition that everybody knows this is wrong now second point see it the national institute of urban affairs apex body of the ministry of housing friends is not apex body for the ministry of housing national institute of urban affairs just coordinates the national institute of urban affairs coordinates just coordinates with the ministry of housing it is not an apex body in the ministry of housing it's not like that but many people thought that it is apex body and many people gave this as a correct option according to me this is wrong option so option is neither one or two according to me but most of the people think uh, this is the answer only two is the answer but according to me this is the answer d which of the following has been considered under the indoor protection act friends the right question again i think there is a mistake here friends sorry for that 1986 this is i'm sorry for that okay central ground water authority is the answer central ground water authority was the answer there is a confusion between these two is obviously confusion and uh, many people actually marked this one but actually it's authority <coughs> and our team has made small spelling mistake i mean the year mistake here with reference to united nations credentials committee consider the following according to me this is not a difficult question everybody knows about this because united nations credentials committee obviously which is relevant to <coughs> all the countries under unga how can unsc take care of it definitely not possible no common sense is only united general assembly that actually can take care of united nations credentials committee obviously it traditional major march june september friends uh, general okay it does not meet it does not meet so many times in a year nobody can meet so many times in a year it meet once before general assembly once only once in a year this is also wrong it assesses the credentials anyhow leave this one one to both are wrong no if one to both are wrong this answer that's all go ahead like that okay don't think much about everything which one of the following statements best describes polar code direct question basically water ships are going in the polar water arctic sea polar waters there is a polar code which they have to follow direct right, right answer a can the following statement is okay friends here with reference to the unga consider following statements grab zero status yes non member states there are many examples intergovernment organization organization can seek observer status yes not only countries even organizations also can seek to be an observer on the unga they can come and sit and participate in the meetings Permanent observers of the UNGA can maintain missions at the United Nations Quarters. Yes, anybody who is permanent can maintain their mission at court. All three are correct. Means you should know, actually, UPSC mains questions 
from last many years and asking about UNG, IMF, World Bank. So you should read all the aspects of this kind of international important bodies. With reference to Tea Board of India, according to me, this is a difficult question, according to me basically. Tea Board statutory body, right? That's Ministry of Non Agriculture, Commerce. Friends, actually, tea does not, tea is a commercial, commercial crop, tea, right? And mostly trade related. So, Ministry of Commerce takes care of it. Tea Board, Sunshine, Bengaluru. No, Kolkata. Actually, that also difficult, but see, the point is. Any head office of any board, for example, silk board is there. Silk board office in Bangalore because silk is produced in Karnataka in large scale. How can tea head, head office in, in Bangalore? Karnataka is not a top producing state, no. West Bengal produce, Assam produce, this is produced. So, hence, Kolkata, near to Assam. The tea board has overseas offices, yes. So, two are wrong, two and three are wrong. So, one and four is answer. Last question, friends. This is a right question basically. What is greenwashing? You should know it. Because some companies, their products are actually not eco-friendly. But to sell the product, they will say eco-friendly. There are many products like that, which I don't want to name in this session. So that is called as greenwashing. So friends, you observe, this year's paper was similar to 2019 paper and 20 paper. Because most of the science and technology questions for option D, all the above. Last year, that's not the case. In 2021 prelims, those students who marked all the above, for science technology failed in the exam. This year again the trend was back. All the above was the thing for science technology. And I think this year's paper was easier than last year. So cutoff will be more than last year. And this year number of posts are more in UPSC. So cutoff will be uh, more than last year. And how we will calculate cutoff? I, for example, I have some students in Hyderabad branch, in Vijayawada branch I have students. Online also many students are there. Lot of our students wrote prelims exam. So I have taken sample set of some people who perform very well, who clear every year, some average students and some students who are not doing well. And using that sample set, I will come out with a cutoff, which I think will be near to the UPSC cutoff on basic statistics sampling. So we will announce the cutoff within two days, within two days time, because based on, based on the key answers, solutions or explanation I gave, our students will actually count their mocks. From their mocks, I will take a sampling and come out with the cutoff, which I think that also depends upon the number of posts that year. Thank you, friends. Take care. The idea of this class is not to explain every question in detail, but as a student, how would I approach the paper? All the best for your mains. Start preparing for mains now only. Take today's break. Don't wait for results because even if you fail in the prelims exam also, your, your mains preparation will help you for next year. If you pass in the prelims also, if you do not start mains now, time is wasted. So in either way, start preparation for mains. All the best.